One part of basketball that I think people love to witness is the rise of a player. Seeing a player start from the bottom where they are barely getting any playing time in the league to then becoming a full-time starter is truly inspiring. Well, if there was one guy who went from a roster filler to a key gem, it would be Max Struess. Struess has been in the league since 2019 and has made a huge improvement as of late. The man has been capable of making himself a valuable piece for the Miami Heat, which is one of the reasons why they've won some games. Well guys, why don't we see where Struess came from and how he got to his position today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the rise of Max Struess. Max Struess was born and raised in Illinois. When in his sophomore year of high school, Struess stood at a respectable 5 foot 9. But as time went along, he left high school standing at a staggering 6 foot 6. He averaged 19 points and 9 rebounds in high school. Struess would end up attending DePaul University. DePaul University has been capable of producing high quality NBA players we know as of today, such as Mark Aguirre, Terry Cummings, Kevin Edwards, and Wilson Chandler. Struess lasted two years in the university and played very well. In year one, he averaged a respectable 17 points and five rebounds. Then in year two, he averaged 20 points, six rebounds and a steal. A scout by the name of Alan Liu wrote about Struess's pros and cons when out on the court. He mentioned how his pros were how he's a good shooter, a great scorer off the dribble, how he's a prolific scorer who puts up points in a hurry, moves very well off ball, a great rebounder for his size, and pretty athletic. As for his cons, it was mentioned how he'd have trouble finishing, how his shot selection lacked at times, how he's more of a selfish player on offense, wouldn't have the best effort on defense, had a history of foot injuries, and the most unique note of them all, how he's too old to be a prospect. The 2019 NBA draft would come around, and Max Struess's name wouldn't be called. The man sadly went undrafted. Most players call it quits for the NBA and either go out of the country to play, or try to find another way to get in the league. Struess was one of those players who tried finding another way in. Although he went undrafted, he ended up signing with the summer league roster of the Boston Celtics. Struess did okay as he averaged 9 points per game while shooting 45% from 3. Struess played well enough to earn a two-way contract with the team. Unfortunately, Struess wasn't capable of remaining on the Celtics until the start of the season. He was cut right before opening night. In October 2019, Struess took his talents to Chicago as he signed a two-way contract with the Bulls. Struess made his NBA debut just a month later. He only played two games where he averaged around 3 minutes per game. Struess was supposed to play more games with the team, but due to an injury, that was impossible. On December 23, 2019, the Bulls announced how Struess suffered a torn ligament in his left knee. He was going to be out for around 8-12 to 12 months. He sadly didn't return to Chicago the next season, as the injury was the nail in the coffin. So if you were to look at Struess's current situation, you realize how small of a chance he has at successfully working this out. What NBA team was going to give a 24 year old who just came off of a severe injury a chance of proving themselves when having little to no experience in the NBA? Well, Miami clearly had an idea of what they were doing. On November 30th, 2020, Struess signed a training camp contract with the Heat. It didn't take long until he received a two-way offer. Struess would then get the call up to the NBA, where he had more of a chance to show his game. He played in 39 games, averaging 6 points and a rebound. He did this while playing 13 minutes per game. In the summer of 2021, the Heat decided Struess finally earned that NBA contract and signed for two years and three and a half million dollars. The next season was where Max Struess was going to show the Heat he's here to stay. He played in 68 games the following season, 16 of those 68 games were starts, and he averaged 10 points with 3 rebounds and an assist. He also shot 41% from 3. He was looking a lot better. But then, we come to today. In 18 games, Struess has averaged 15 points with 2 assists and 3 rebounds while shooting 42% from the field. He is now one of the key pieces of the Miami Heat's roster, and it doesn't seem like the Heat will be replacing him anytime soon. So let me ask the question, how did Max Struess turn into this reliable piece, and why would the Heat trust him to get the job done? Well, it all started last season. The Heat were in need of a spark. Towards the end of the season, they started losing more and more games and having trouble holding on to the first seed. And with the playoffs right around the corner, the Heat knew they needed to start winning games in order to win the finals. 
and this is where Max Struess comes in. Remind you, this was before Struess was noticed around the league as a key player. The Heat picked him up as an undrafted shooter who mostly plays in the G League. When Eric Spolstra put him in the starting lineup, that's when the Heat started to turn around for the better. They would win 15 of their next 18 games and finish the season going 53-29. and Although the playoffs didn't end well, the fact Struess brought this much momentum to the team meant something was clicking. Then the next season, Struess improved even more as his shooting just looked better and better. So how did Struess improve over time? Well, it was by working day and night on his game. His offseason was less of taking time off and more of being on the grind every day. His shooting percentage was down the previous years, so he decided to take as many shots as possible in order to get on the next level. Struess also studied other shooting guards games like Klay Thompson and Joe Harris. By doing so, well in the 2021-22 season he shot 41% from 3 and this season he is shooting 35%. It is lower than last season but then again, one, the season just started and two, he is still shooting better than two years ago. When asked about his work ethic and having a role on an NBA roster, Struess said quote, everything I've worked for was to help them out. As a young guy in the NBA, you just want to make it as easy as possible on them and provide help and comfort. Honestly, guys like that, all they want to do is play hard and compete as hard as possible. We're all kind of built the same way, and I fit right in. Max Struess proved to the NBA how anything is possible. You can have all the disadvantages a prospect could have and still find a way to make it. All it takes is hard work and dedication, and that's exactly what Struess did here. We will see what the future holds for the 26 year old. That is going to be it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please consider to leave a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. I'm out.